All right, now as a next step, uh, we have to bring the knowledge articles that we have just set up in Salesforce back to the customer portal, <clears throat> which is not actually straightforward. So what we will do now is we will try to enable topics feature. So uh, yeah, so when we created knowledge articles, we organized all the knowledge articles by data categories, isn't it? So whenever I create a knowledge articles, I use this category, right? To organize the knowledge articles, isn't it? And right now, this does not mean that I can immediately access the knowledge articles back in the customer portal. So it's a, it's a, it's a two-step process. So once a knowledge article is created and it is categorized, right? We have to enable topics back in the Salesforce org and then we have to map the data categories and topics so that we can able to you know bring the relevant knowledge articles back to the customer portal. So the experience cloud portal understands or organizes the knowledge uh, using topics whereas when a knowledge is created in Salesforce it is organized using data categories. So that's the reason we are going to map the data categories and topics so that through this mapping, we can able to bring the relevant knowledge articles back to the experience portal. So we will just see how we can able to manage data, data categories and topics. Thereby, we will bring uh, the knowledge articles to display in the portal. Yeah, and then we'll also configure the feature topics and navigation topics. So what do I mean by feature topics and navigation topics are this. So what you see as a tile on the home page. So this is called feature topics, something that the user can come and then readily click and then look at the relevant you know, FAQs, etc. So this is what you call feature topics and experience cloud, which is what we are going to configure. And then navigation topics, it talks about this. So how do I bring uh, uh, you know a menu uh, in the navigation bar so that will list me all the relevant topics and when I click it will list me all the relevant articles looks like there are four articles under bookings category right or topics so this is what you know we mean by uh, navigation navigational topics let's see how we can configure that so we'll go back to the sites first Salesforce first and then search for topics so let's first enable that so go to topics for objects so right now this is enabled so in case you know if you don't see this you don't see this option topic for objects what you will just see is settings okay under topics when you search for so you have to first enable that that will be a checkbox just enable that and then uh, you know you will see an option called topic for topics for objects yeah so go to topics for objects and then look for topics. Look for no <clears throat> look for knowledge. Yeah, look for the knowledge article because knowledge object because this is where all our knowledge articles are saved, right? Just enable topics right here and then you know for the title and summary, just enable the topics. So this is the first thing that we have to do so that we can use topics to bring the knowledge article to the customer portal so let's select title and summary let's save this this is done and now we can uh, go back to our site we can go back to home let's say sites so the topics have been enabled now it is time to map data category and topics so to start with let's go to the sites let's go to uh, workspaces and if you recollect you know workspaces right it's one of the pillars right uh, the, in, in experience cloud so this is where you can able to do a lot of things one uh, feature that we are going to use from the workspaces is the content management because we are just going to bring content to our uh, to our uh, customer portal isn't it so let's click on content management and right under topics Tab, you will just see multiple options. So we'll talk about this. We will anyways configure these two. We'll start with this topic management. And right here, we will create you know topics that we wanted to show. Uh, we wanted to show um, in the customer portal. So in, in our case, we do have different topics, isn't it? We have bookings, check-in, check-out policies, customer services, policies, etc. So I'm going to create topics for each tile, basically. Okay. So we'll go back here. Let's click on new and let's say the name of the topic is bookings and we'll just enable for content. 
just save and let's add one more check in slash check out policies look for content save let's click on new let's say discount is another topic that I want to show in the customer portal discount is one or else we have um, customer services and invoices right let's do that customer services and we have uh, invoices looking for content and let's get last uh, the last topic so which is uh, policies yeah so that's it now we created multiple topics right now it is time to map topics and data categories for which let's go to the automatic topic assignment and let's let's ensure that this is enabled yeah and we'll go, yeah we'll go to automatic topic assignment and right here you can see the the data categories that we had set up in the you know back in the back in the salesforce uh, back in the salesforce right you will just see the see the data categories and this is where we map these three data categories as against the topic okay so let's first select this data category customer services and bookings and we have uh, two subcategories right data categories so let's choose customer services and this is where you can able to map so remember the topics that we created so one of the topic is customer services right let's use that save so i'll say add about topics automatically perfect so customer services is fine i don't think i need to give uh, a space that is fine so we can add as many tap as many topics as we want so for now let me just go with this customer services let's save this okay and uh, let's choose the next category bookings let me add um, bookings as the next one yeah done so let's it's a tab and now let's save this good i'm going to repeat the same for other uh, categories as well invoices and invoices and discounts i do see invoice as a subcategory use this one for invoices done let's say save let's do the same for discounts and yes ash discounts perfect save last one is this check-in checkout policies so i can have um, ash check in check out policies that is one topic or i can just say uh, this is um, you know policies as well okay perfect that is fine let's see okay you can have more than one topic just to you know, just to clarify so now the automatic topic assignment has also been completed now now let's do the article management so this is where you will see all the knowledge that you created back in the salesforce so now let's go and then edit each and every top every article and then just map this so now i just as you can just see if i just go here this is related to you know policies right so let's click and then um, you will just see you will just see two topics already assigned right policies and this because we enabled automatic policy assignment so that's the reason you can just see this one so let's see and let's cross check how it appears for the other ones so this is under bookings perfect this is under e-voucher discounts perfect that is also done so perfect i i see that every knowledge article has got a topic you know assigned to right so now it's time for us to configure the feature topics which is fairly simple let's go to feature topics let's add the first topic and we wanted this to be um bookings yeah let's add um Yeah. So when you let me remove this first. Yeah. So when you add a topic, when you add a topic, uh, 
uh, you can able to let's say I add this you can able to configure you know an image to that topic so we did for example right for bookings I just wanted to show a background image to this time so I can certainly use this one any image that I would like to upload so click here it just opens up uh, the uh, it just opens up uh, your uh, your local folder you know from there you can just uh, select an image yeah right now for bookings I'm gonna choose this one I'll say open uh, the image exits the file size limit I think I have to shrink this file size from two from the current one to 250 kb let me do that all right I just shrink the image let's see if it works or not good it's getting uploaded perfect so now I have an image I have a background image for this bookings right so let's uh, close this one let's add other topics and then in this case you know I want something for check-in check-out policies and yeah add this and I want something for customer services add this I want something for discount add this and what else I want uh, something for um, invoices that is also fine let's add this one and let's click each uh, and then um, update uh, background done so click here customer services done so let's wait for this to upload all right I think our setup is done now uh, let's first check you know whether it works or not then we can come back and then you know fine-tune this further okay uh, so this is done feature topics let's go back to our uh, application and then we'll just refresh this page and under featured I should see yeah so I created uh, four feature topics right that's what it's appearing right here and all the images when I click on bookings I should see the relevant you know knowledge articles so when I click on bookings looks like I don't see any articles no articles found and also I don't see a number right here which means something else you know something that I some somewhere I made a mistake so let's go back and then check so this is the topic right so when you when you get into this kind of situation right the the likely uh, cause for this issue would be the mapping okay let's go to automatic topic management first yeah let's first go and then select this customer services and bookings and uh, this one is not giving any results right bookings so I see this data category booking is mapped to ash bookings topic but 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 if I just duplicate this and show you the actual topic name the actual topic name is you know bookings right so I would like this topic name right to be mapped against the data category for for uh, for some reason I just manually entered ash and that's the reason you know it, it stopped working or it is not working yeah so I do see some redundant topics as well which I can remove it immediately but first let me fix that uh, mapping first then we'll come back here okay so let's keep this one on let's go back here so right now I'll just remove the existing uh, mapping I'll search for I'll just enter bookings now we can just see this right the topics are already appearing so I'll just map the right topic now so I'll just say add and then save I'm going to repeat the same for customer services as well I don't need this hashtag let me just search for customer services it just is appearing save so sometimes you have to be very careful when we just do the mapping yeah things might go wrong but be afraid it's just a matter of you know mapping issue so let's remove and the topic for this invoice I think uh, we can give an um, invoices yeah that's what that's the topic name and discounts let's remove this existing one and let's search for this count okay, I do see the existing topic save and for check-in checkout policies uh, let's remove the both and let's look for check-in checkout policies perfect I'll also add this another topic policies from the existing list let's save this so that's it now this is clear let's go back and then remove the remove um, the topics that are no longer needed 
Okay, this ash, 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 ash. Already, I think I have to remove this one after the other. So let's remove this. Yeah, now it's clean. You know, the topics are clean and the proper mapping is also done, right? So let's go back to features. I have bookings, I have check-in, check-out policies, customer services, discount. Let's add one more, which is uh, invoices. Uh, let's add invoices. And also, let's ensure invoice image is updated. Perfect. Let's close this. Let's add another one. Policies. Add. And let's click and then update the policies image as well. If this is done, it's time for us to save everything. Good. So now let's go back to the site. Let's refresh and uh, let's see what happens. So let's go to home. Let's start from home and you can just see all the all the feature topics are appearing right let's click on bookings and i should see all the relevant articles looks like i have four four articles and you know these are the articles so i can just click and then take a look at the articles so let it load so this will give me um yeah the, the article this article title and the summary of the article perfect i think this is cool let's see check for the policies how many articles there's one article perfect this is done all right good so now i can see this is working now very quickly let's try to uh, configure the navigational topics so let's go to navigational topics and uh, let's look for uh, the topics so the first one is bookings isn't it that's the topic name so let's add that and when you click you can in fact if you want some background image to appear we can do that but in my case right we're not going to do it so what other topics uh, we have so let's go here so we need one more topic check in check out policies copy and then just paste it right here add we need one more call customer services done let's have this we need one more discounts we need the last one invoices so let's have this way done add save so we just created you know navigational topics alone let's see how this works let's go back to the uh, site let's refresh first and now you can just see this right the topics are appearing if i go to home you can just see this uh, topics appearing right here let's click and then see what happens it also takes me to the same page right where i can just see the list of articles yeah all the four articles uh, that we configured under booking topic isn't it so if you go to topics again and then click on customer services i should see the relevant articles which is appearing right here so right now this is what we have done so we managed to bring the knowledge created in salesforce back to the uh, you know into the experience portal which is not straightforward isn't it so we have to map data categories and topics because in salesforce we organize knowledge articles uh, using data categories whereas in experience cloud we have to organize our knowledge based on topics so that's the reason as a common point we have to use data cat we have to map data categories and topics which we did it and then uh, we managed to configure feature topics we also managed to configure navigational topics i think the next thing is we need to you know enable this portal for the users isn't it we need to enable this customer portal right for the actual users and then test it how it's going to work for the users right so let's do that as a next step 